Rooster Teeth News is brought to you by NatureBox. Snack smarter with French toast granola, sweet blueberry almonds, and more. Get 50% off your first order when you visit naturebox.com slash roosterteeth. Welcome back, gamers. I'm Ashley Jenkins, and Microsoft has announced that today's Xbox One system update actually isn't coming out today after all. But it is still coming this week. Microsoft's Larry Herb reveals that it's still being finalized. This is the update that will add a controller battery indicator and the ability to manage storage space, as well as make several other tweaks. To take the sting out of the delay, they've also shared more about the major March multiplayer update, which will drop sometime early in the month before Titanfall hits shelves on the 11th. The friend list is being moved to the front of the friends app on the social tile, so it's easier to get to. Party chat will be enabled by default. However, you can switch between party chat and game chat if you and your party members are in different games and you need to switch. The recent players list from Xbox 360 is making a return and moving forward, multiplayer titles will have menu options for you to invite your party into your game. Mark Witten credits the feedback the company has received from gamers for the changes to the way the system will handle social functions. He says, We've prided ourselves on having the best multiplayer service for Xbox 360, and we've listened to your feedback about the features you want to see on Xbox One and Xbox Live. Also coming in March is a first-party stereo headset from Microsoft for $79.99, which will run both game and chat audio, and it comes with a headset adapter that connects to the Xbox One controller and allows you to adjust your game and chat audio levels separately on the fly. The adapter, which will also be available separately for $24.99, will enable you to use the gaming headset you've already got with Xbox One. Sort of. Some headsets, like the Triton Warhead and Primer models, and the Xbox 360 wireless and Bluetooth headsets aren't supported. Those with a 3.5mm audio jack and some headsets with a 2.5mm chat cable for Xbox 360 will be able to pull in chat audio, but you'll have to plug the headset into the TV or Xbox One to get game audio as well. It seems like everyone is gearing up for Titanfall, including the developers themselves, oddly enough. Respawn co-founder Vince Zampella has announced that a website will be launched this evening for Titanfall beta signups, and once it's up, we'll add a link in the description so you can get your mech on. The beta will be available for users on Xbox One and PC. Unfortunately, the Xbox 360 version, which is being developed by Bluepoint Games, has been delayed until later in March and won't be part of the testing. Next, Warner Brothers Games has come under fire for neglecting Batman Arkham Origins bug fixes in favor of working on DLC. Their community manager has announced the team is currently working hard on the upcoming story DLC and there are currently no plans for releasing another patch to address the issues that have been reported. If we do move forward with creating a new patch, it will try to aggress the progression blocking bugs for players, not the minor glitches. So really, even fixes for game breaking issues are a maybe. The game has been riddled with bugs, including glitchy skins, corrupted saves, crashing and freezing issues, and achievements not unlocking on the Xbox 360 version. On New Year's Eve, Warner Brothers teased the story-based DLC they are currently working on about the origin of classic Batman villain Mr. Freeze, but the studio has been quiet since. And last but we all knew it was coming, right? Sony has announced that North America will see a release of the new slim PS Vita this spring, and it will launch with the Borderlands 2 bundle that includes 6 DLC and the cross-save feature, so you can switch between Vita and PS3 and keep your progress going between the two systems. Sony has also revealed that 33% of Vita owners also own a PS4. In fact, the launch of the PS4 caused a 163% rise in Vita sales in the UK, which Sony's Fergal Guerra attributes to the cross-platform functionality. He says, A significant number of PS Vita purchasers in the UK indicated that remote play was their reason for purchase. The Vita Slim launched last year in Japan and last week in Europe. This new version is 15% lighter and 20% slimmer than the original and adds an hour of additional battery life at the cost of trading out an OLED screen for LCD. The Japanese version also comes in six poppy colors, but no word on whether those will eventually make their way to other regions. And that's it for today. Keep an eye on the description for Titanfall beta details when those come later. Will you try to decide whether you want to buy the full game? Shout out in the comments and let us know. Then check roosterteeth.com tomorrow afternoon for a live sponsors-only stream of our gaming podcast, The Patch.